Good morning, my dear students. Hope everything is fine. Uh, I really miss you so much. Um, yesterday and uh, the previous week, we have been covering the percentage of increase and decrease. We went through the percentage of uh, increase, and yesterday we took uh, one example in the percentage of decrease. They they both have the same more or less uh, the same rule. Let's take another example in percentage of decrease. We took this example, then we are going to start with this example. Example said, Officer Prime Berry, Prime Berry uh, uh, wrote 16 tickets for traffic violations last week, but only 10 tickets this week. What is the percentage of decrease? Yani, last week, Katab fines, he wrote fines or uh, traffic violations for uh, people, yani, uh, 16 tickets, yani, he wrote 16 tickets, but this week, yani, uh, it was um, less than uh, the previous week, this week it was less than the previous week, he just wrote 10 tickets, okay, so he's asking what is the percentage of decrease, as we said before, we have to go through two steps in order to calculate the percentage of increase or decrease. They are both uh, the same. First thing, in order to calculate the percentage of uh, decrease, I have to find the difference between the original uh, amount uh, and the new amount. Okay? Uh, so here, I have to get the difference between the last week vi uh, traffic violation tickets and this week traffic violation tickets. So I will subtract 10 from 16, 16 minus 10 equals to 6. This is first step. The second step, I have to divide this 6 by the original, the original number of tickets. The original number of tickets here, it was 16. So I will divide 6 divided by 16. You can either, by the way, you can either divide them uh, directly from this step or you can go through uh, simplification if you want. Yeah, and here we can simplify by 2 and by 2 because 6 and 16, they are both in times table 2. So I can simplify first and go for long division. If you want to start long division from this step, it's up to you. Both are right. Yeah, and both are right. If you want to simplify in order to make the number Yani much easier for you in uh, division, it's okay. If you want to go through long division from the first step, it's okay, but they are both right. But uh, here, yani I answered it by simplification. Yani I went through simplification uh, first. I divide uh, both numbers by 2. So 6 divided by 2 gives me 3, and 16 divided by 2 gives me uh, 8. Then here, in this step, the numbers are much easier and much smaller, so I divide, um, I divide, I, I, I go for long division, I put out, outside the 8 and inside the 3. Then I ask myself, 8 times what gives me 3? There is nothing. I hope you have a piece of paper so you can write down with me the steps, especially uh, those who are uh, weak in long division. Yus, um, um, uh, so I had, uh, please bring a piece of paper and write down with me the steps for long division. Again, the long division here, 3 over 8. Then I will make a, a, a long division step D. Then I will put out the 8 and inside the 3. Then I ask myself, 8 times what will give me 3? Nothing. So I, I will put 0. Then I will put a decimal point. This decimal point gives me the right to put beside the three as much zeros as I want. Okay? I'll add the I put zeros. As much as I can, I can put zeros. Then I ask myself again, eight times what will give me 30 or around 30? 30 or around 30? Yes, I have um, eight times three will give me 24. So I will put up three and down under the 30, I will put 24. Then I subtract. 30 minus 24, okay, 30 minus 24 became 6, 6, right, so I can put another 0, another 0, then I will bring down another 0 beside the 6, then I ask myself 8 times what will give me 60 or around 60, 
yes 56 8 times 7 equal 56 so I will put up beside the 3 7 and down under the 60 I will put 56 then I subtract 60 minus 56 will give me 4 4 then I will bring down another 0 I said after the decimal point I can work 3 digits after the decimal point so here 40 8 times what will give me 40 yes 8 times 5 8 times 5 will give me 40 yes so I will write down I will write up beside the 7 5 in the in the answer and down under the 40 I will put another 40 so 40 minus 40 will give me 0 so the answer will be 0 0.375 the answer is here 0 0.375 right excellent uh, let's go for another example uh, here a pair of snow boots at an equipment store in Big Bear that originally cost yani, uh, original price uh, of this boots $60 is on sale for $36 yani, original price was $60 but now after the discount uh, the discounted price becomes uh, $36 what is the percentage of discount yani, uh, yani, uh, uh, discount price uh, discount rate can can percent if you go to the store they, uh, they say مثلاً, for example ah, this t-shirt 10% uh, off يعني 10% off and I want the amount of money here he's giving me the amount of money and he's asking about the percent يعني can percent the discount so what I'm going to do first step I will subtract 60 the original price from the discounted price 60 minus 36 will give me 24 right 60 minus type what about 24 I will do what what's the next step after uh, getting uh, 24 yes I will divide this amount or the 24 over the original price what is the original price the original price is 60 yes so I will divide 24 over 60 as I told you before in the previous example you can either start long division in this form or you can go for more simplification so you can be able to make it uh, much easier because the numbers will be uh, yani much simple okay but both are right as I told you if you want to go for long division from this step okay okay go ahead if you want to go for simplification okay go ahead but here I did it uh, first by simplification uh, these two numbers they are in times table 2 so 24 divided by 2 gives me 12 okay 12 uh, and 60 divided by th uh, by 2 gives me uh, 30 yani 12 over 30 I can also simplify them again by uh, by uh, 12 by 2 yani 12 divided by 30 by 2 it gives me 6 over 6 over 15 yes 6 over 15 right but also after 6 over 15 I can go for another simplification by 3 because these two numbers you can even uh, go for a long division in any step and yani 6 divided by 15 you can go for long division but I did it uh, till I reached the simplest form but in any step you can go for long division and go ahead can yani you understand yani if you don't know 12 over 30 go ahead and do long division okay uh, 6 over 15 you can start long division but here I did it again I reached its simplest form then I went to long division but it's up to you as we said before it's not Quran you can do long division in any of the steps even from the first step here if it is easy for you uh, these numbers okay you can go ahead okay but I did it I, I, I went till the simplest form then I did a long division so here 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 15 divided by 3 is 5 then I went to long division I went to a long division I will put uh, please concentrate Yusr and Suad I will make this letter long division I will put 5 out and 2 inside ok 5 out and 2 inside then I ask myself 5 times what will give me 2 nothing so I will put 0 up and put a decimal point this decimal point will give me uh, the right to put zeros as much as I can okay so I will put 
zero beside the two. So I will ask myself again, five times what will give me 20? Five times what will give me, yes, four, four. So it's, uh, it's only one step. So 20 minus 20 is zero. So the answer will be 0 0.4, right. Uh, excellent, we will stop our session until here and inshallah we will uh, continue tomorrow. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me or email me or send me a message. Uh, and inshallah tomorrow we're gonna uh, go through more exercise uh, and please yani, uh, during my session please bring a piece of paper and write with me in order to be able to redo these exercises again uh, by yourself okay uh, take care and have a good day inshallah see you tomorrow um, I hope we can meet uh, soon because I really miss you so much I miss my class so much I hope we can meet uh, very soon inshallah take care of yourself and stay safe and god bless you inshallah